What up, Blaster? I don't know if you know or not. Um, I'm in love with FNAF, which is Five Nights at Freddy's. Not obsessed, but I do like watching videos on them and people thinking that they're going into there and finding the fake stuff and all that cool stuff. So, this thing is called The Bite of 87, the story behind Fofi biting a little child. So, I'm going to read half of it and then skip through some of it because it's really long. It's like 20 minutes long. I just sat there one day and just read it all. So, I thought might as well read it to my fans and okay freddy fazbear's pizza a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike where fantasy and fun comes to life at least the ads say so in reality the place is not great you know the pizza tastes like cup cupboard and it's not really that fun in here but maybe it is only me anyway the pizzeria is obviously not famous for its pizza but it's an electronic band there is Bonnie the Bunny, Chica the Chicken, Foxy the Fox, and of course, Freddy Fazbear. Things make the whole PR, they attract a lot, a lot of kids. But not only kids, the animatronics also attracted a grown-up grown man named Paddings. This guy can be described with one word. Weirdo. He looks weird, he acts weird, and he also smells weird for some reason. But Freddy's chef, Mason Saints, hired him anyway. Of course, because Simon almost works for free and also does the night shift, Mason d didn't understand why he was so urged to work here. But he also didn't want to find out. The real reason behind Simon appliance was not the money. The strange Simon was the reason was straight up bizarre, even for him. Simon is neither straight nor gay. Simon is about sexual. He loves object. He loves object. And Simon fell in love with animatronics. That's the reason why he spends his whole day in the pizzeria. Honestly, he even the night shift more than he can be alone with his loved one. So it's pretty much saying Simon, is that his name, is not gay and he's not straight. So he um, likes sex in a weird way. I don't know. So he works the night shift. Mason Saint had a daughter, which was 12 years old. Too old to like the pizza Rio with its stupid childish robot plushie, plushies. But sadly, she was forced to stay with her dad in the pizzeria. So she invited friends once in a while. Once in a while, they were at the party room before the show starts. Hello, kids, and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. They show it. They. Sh the show is about. Again, my friends and me would love to sing you a song. I hope you enjoy it," said Freddy Fazbear. And the group of six kids were bored. Saint's daughter thinks she is untouchable because her dad owns the place. So she climbs up stage. Hello, child. I would love to hug you, but you are not allowed up on the stage, said Chica. Shut up. Hey, you stupid chicken. Can you do something more funny? I am talking to you. It's me. I own you. She pushed Chica. Her father was too busy to know. The other kids joined her, starting to wrestle with the robotics. Pushing them, twisting their limbs, nobody dared to infer the child who were celebrating birthdays there. Liked it. So, the little girl, what's her name? 12 year old girl, um, it doesn't say her name. But she went up stage because her dad owns the place, went up stage, and um, Freddie said, You can't be up here, I would give you a hug, but you can't be on stage, or whatever. And she goes, I own you, and it's me or something, and pushed him down, and they were, and since they're animatronics, they're robots, and was like twisting their limbs, kind of like an Indian burn, but robots, so like taking them apart, stuff like that. As Simon entered the room to collect the plates, 
He was shocked. Nobody can treat his precious precious like this. He ran up to the stage. Hey, you snatches, come down here. But the girl replied, you work for my father. You don't tell me what to do. Simon, enraged, took her arm and pulled her down the stage. She fell on her knee and started crying. But Simon still wanted to hurt her. So she fell off. Mason Snaines grabbed his arm. What the H-E-L-L -L are you doing? What did you do to my daughter? So what this guy thinks he's doing is um, what Freddy was doing, like the animatronics were doing to his daughter, was um, hurting her. She was hurting him, them. So he twisted it backwards so that he could feel bad for his daughter and not them. Makes sense. In Saint's office, Simon tries to explain what happened and that he can't be blamed for what happened. But Saint's was mad at him. At him. I would fire you, but you're short, short, and employees, so you are thin ice. Now leave and go back to work and stay away from the animatronics. You spend much time, near, much too, too much time near the stage. As Simon was about to leave the office. To start his night shift, Saint said, "Do you ever let? Don't you ever let that happen again?" And he said, "And then he said, I won't." He whispered. So Saint's office and si okay, so Simon is the weirdo, and Saint is the one who owns the place. Um, so Simon saw it happen. And Saint was in his office. So that's... The night shift will be enough time. Simon has a degree in animatronics, which is also a reason why he loves the character so much. He can be a genius if he has enough motivation. In five nights, he upgraded all the animatronics. He called his work the ASDM, the Animatronic Self-Defense Machine. It's basically a remote with the spinner switch for every character to control the level of their aggression on a scale of one ten, 0 to 20, whereas, where 0 is completely harmless and 20 is hunting down every living thing in the pizzeria. He switched every character to 1, which means gently pushing back people if they are messing with them. It didn't take much to, to be needed. Okay, since it's so hard to read all that, I'm just going to skip that part. You can go to it. Um, my phone's about to die. It's at 8%, so i got to finish this. The kid stepped onto the stage of Foxy Foxy the Pirate Fox. Hey, Foxy, what's up? Or step down the stage, or I will make you walk down the plank. Or Foxy sounds kind of glitchy. Simon... Watch tensions. I think this is broken. The kid stepped closer. Foxy pushed him back. He was so surprised. What the F U C K? The F the F U C K I N G robot pushed me. The kid tried to punch Foxy, but Foxy just countered, which made the kid angrier. Meanwhile, in the office, Simon watched amused. Let it see if a real can take in. What he gives out, Simon wanted to switch the level, switch to level three, but he accidentally pushed the eight. Oh no, the switch was stuck on eight. You can't push me, robot. <sighs> the kid ran towards Foxy. Crack! Ow! All customers look at the Pirates Cove, and what they saw was an unbelievable. Foxy, one of the beloved characters, had his mouth wide open and between the sharp teeth the head of a child he screamed and he screamed and screamed but foxy didn't let go the screaming stopped shortly after as the kid dropped down but a part of his head remaining between the teeth of foxy so that was pretty scary um if you go if you be quiet okay so, if you look up FNAF, the Bite of 87 story, I guess you can't see it, but it says the Bite of 87, the 
the story behind Five Nights at Freddy's General. If you just click on that, you can read the rest of it. I was only reading that part because it's already really long. But that's pretty sad that you, because a kid wouldn't get down from your stage, you just sit there and bite its head off. Just imagine that. First, your head getting, you know, like, getting pulled up by your head. Like, sometimes my mom is with me and, like, pulls my head up like that. But we joke around. It still hurts, but it's because she makes it funny. But imagine getting like that, but especially an animatronic, which has, like, robot teeth. Just be like, ah! Ooh. Especially, like, your bones and your veins. Just like, just like. Okay. That's disgusting. Okay. So, thanks for watching, and I'll upload tomorrow. Peace.